First at 10, we're learning more about a police chase involving a big rig stolen from a gas station in Kern County. The pursuit coming to a fiery end in SoCal. Thanks for joining us this evening. I'm Rochelle Mircea. Michael is off this evening. We start with an eyewitness news exclusive. We reached out to the owner of that semi truck after it was stolen right here in town and then burst into flames during a lengthy pursuit. Eyewitness News reporter Leslie Molina is live in Greenfield where it all started. Leslie. Yes, Rochelle, right now where I'm standing at is not too far off from where it all started. I'm going to step away from the screen just to show you what the scene looks like right now. Like I said, we're at a gas station. There's a few taco trucks nearby and right across that street, right over there, you see that store? That's where the semi truck owner told me its security camera caught the incident. And that is just a few of the things that he happened to tell me tonight. Vehicle is going to catch fire and uh, I mean if this suspect is literally jeopardizing their life now in a matter of seconds is what Edwin Ulises told us it took for its big rig to be stolen it happened here by this taco stand located in Greenfield he was on his way back from Los Angeles when he stopped to grab a quick bite to eat from then, a wild goose chase ensued, but it was not Edwin that went after it. He says his friend did. Police were also on the lookout for the rig. This chase caught on camera by a news station in L.A. Triste. The stolen semi truck made it all the way to Rancho Cucamonga, where it met a fiery end. The suspect tried to escape but was arrested. Edwin told us he believes it was not one but two people that stole his rig. Oh no! Si he also shared destruido. this video that shows what is left of it. You can see that it's a total loss. The front end of his rig is completely melted. Edwin says he also lost the majority of his belongings, one of which is his phone. Todo mis tablas. My GPS, todo está perdido, todo, todo. But he told us it does not mean he will give up. He's just glad to be alive and well. Me ha costado toda mi vida lo poquito que acabo de perder. Pero estoy vivo. Ahora, a seguir luchando como sea. Gracias a Dios, pues tengo las manos, tengo todo. We did try and get the security footage from this store, but the owner wasn't available. Ulises and his family have also set up a GoFundMe page that can be found at our website at bakeshownow.com. Live in Greenfield, Les Molina, Eyewitness News.